uh, there seem to be a lot of mass carried by these jets and the question is are they originating from pockets of ice on the surface of a natural object or maybe they represent some thrusters on a technological object and we should be able to figure it out by the speed of those jets uh, that could be measured with telescopes on the ground or in space that we have. New developments surrounding the interstellar object 3i Atlas have once again pushed it into the center of scientific discussion. In the span of just a few days, new analyses and early image data have revealed additional anomalies in its behavior. One discovery highlighted in a recent article followed quickly by another update less than 24 hours later. As fresh information continues to emerge at a rapid pace, the growing catalog of unusual characteristics displayed by 3i Atlas has reached a point where the accumulated evidence challenges its classification as a typical comet. Though it exhibits some features resembling cometary activity, the object has repeatedly demonstrated behaviors that no known comet has ever shown. Taken together, these irregularities present a compelling case that 3i Atlas is a unique and atypical interstellar visitor, one that warrants closer scrutiny as observations continue. The first clues came from its trajectory. When 3i Atlas was discovered, observers quickly realized that it was not merely retrograde, but gliding along a path aligned within five degrees of the ecliptic. At first glance, this might seem unremarkable. Yet such a precise alignment is improbable for a randomly arriving interstellar visitor, with odds estimated at only a few tenths of a percent. More curious still was its timing, 3i Atlas had threaded a sequence of near passes with Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, three worlds of prime astrobiological interest within tens of millions of kilometers, as if its arrival had been fine-tuned for maximum planetary proximity. Statistically, this alignment of both trajectory and timing is extraordinarily unlikely, and in a twist that raised eyebrows even among cautious observers, the object reached its closest approach to the Sun at the exact moment it lay behind the Sun from Earth's perspective, rendering it unobservable at the very instant when it changed course. Even before the scientific debates began in earnest, observers were already staring at evidence that this visitor was no ordinary comet. During multiple periods across 2025, Three I Atlas was observed to produce jets of material pointing directly toward the Sun so-called anti-tails. The phenomenon of sunward-pointing structures on comets is not itself new, but in every prior case, the appearance was a trick of perspective. Dust that had been shed weeks earlier and left along the orbital path could appear to point sunward when viewed from Earth. In the case of 3i Atlas, however, the geometry could not be explained away. The jets really were pointed sunward, coherent and structured, and they defied the influence of solar wind in ways that no known comet can. The more scientists studied the object, the more anomalies emerged. Its nucleus appeared unimaginably massive, roughly a million times more massive than the tumbling pancake that was Oumuamua, and a thousand times more massive than the icy nucleus of the known interstellar comet 2i Borisov. Yet it moved faster than both. If such enormous interstellar bodies were common, smaller ones should fill the catalogs by the hundreds. They do not. Spectral studies revealed a chemical profile that was equally perplexing. The gas plume contained far more nickel than iron, an inversion of the typical cometary ratio, as well as a nickel to cyanide ratio orders of magnitude greater than any comet observed. While researchers have proposed natural explanations, the only well-studied example of such ratios occurs in industrial nickel carbonyl processes used in metallurgy, an association that, while not conclusive, is provocative. Then came the surprises in water content. Most comets are dominated by water ice, but 3i Atlas showed only about 4% water by mass. Its polarization signature, the way it scatters sunlight, resembled not comets at all, but the odd rocky centaurs that orbit the outer solar system. Its incoming path happened to lie within 9 degrees of the radio source, 
of the famed 1977 WOW signal, a coincidence that is far from proof of anything, but tantalizing enough to resurrect old debates among SETI enthusiasts. Near perihelion, 3I Atlas brightened faster than any known comet and even grew briefly bluer than the sun, another behavior with no natural precedent. And when researchers calculated the amount of material that would have to be expelled to produce its observed non-gravitational acceleration, a phenomenon commonly attributed to cometary outgassing, they found that the object would need to have lost at least 13% of its total mass. Yet all available imagery showed the nucleus intact, with no evidence of the fragmentation or breakup expected from such intense sublimation. The observed acceleration also exceeded that of any comet on record except the most extreme sun grazers, which experienced solar heating thousands of times more intense than what Atlas ever encountered. These 11 anomalies alone would be enough to place 3I Atlas in an entirely new category of interstellar object. But the 12th anomaly, revealed by preliminary images in November, is what pushed the debate into new territory. Two astronomers observing the object on November 9, 2025, captured a network of tightly collimated jets extending more than a million kilometers into space. On its face, the discovery sounded like yet another example of cometary outgassing. But the geometry of the jets did not align with the physics of natural cometary behavior. The key complication is rotation. 3I Atlas rotates once every 16.16 hours, gas escaping at the expected thermal speed around 400 meters per second, would take about a month to travel a million kilometers. Over that month, a naturally venting comet would rotate dozens of times, smearing the jets into curved, spiraling plumes. If the jets emerged only when pockets of ice rotated into sunlight, they would appear as a chain of evenly spaced peas in a pod, about 43 discrete clumps separated by tens of thousands of kilometers. Instead, observers saw none of this. The jets appeared as continuous, unbroken, perfectly straight beams. They did not kink, curve, smear, or pulse. They maintained their alignment as if attached to something rigid. The only physical models consistent with such behavior involved either a massive structural lattice surrounding the rotating nucleus, something that could keep the jets fixed in orientation while the core turned inside, or the presence of thrusters capable of actively compensating for rotation. Yet even as these anomalies accumulated, not everyone in the scientific community agreed that anything unusual was happening at all. Among the most vocal skeptics was SETI astronomer Jason Wright, who argued that similar behavior has been observed in natural comets. His critiques quickly reshaped the mainstream framing of the object, especially after excerpts of his arguments appeared in Wikipedia and other summary sources, effectively codifying his position as the default interpretation. Wright pointed to one comet in particular, C-2014 UN-271, as an analog for 3I Atlas's sunward jets. UN-271 is a giant comet, the largest ever observed, and at first glance it does display a sunward enhancement in its coma, but a closer look reveals critical distinctions. UN-271 resides far from the sun, around 16 astronomical units, where solar radiation is weak and the solar wind is a thin, gentle whisper compared to the hurricane force conditions at 3I Atlas's distance of 1.4 astronomical units. Dust emitted from UN-271 can drift sunward because it barely feels the pressure of sunlight. At Atlas's position, the same dust would be shredded instantly. Moreover, the jets of UN-271 are not coherent narrow beams. They're diffused expansions of a massive coma. They do not resemble the solid, structured lances seen streaming from Atlas. Wright offered another comparison, invoking comet C-2017 K2, whose sharply defined jets appear prominently in Hubble imagery. But K2 rotates at a glacial pace, completing one turn every 57 days. Such a slow spin means the same regions of its surface remain sunlit for weeks, allowing jets to remain stable long enough to appear crisp in photographs. 3I Atlas, by contrast, rotates dozens of times in that interval, and its jets point toward the sun rather than away. Each analog, when inspected closely, collapses under its own inconsistencies. 
What this disagreement reveals is not a scandal, but a cultural tension within astronomy, a long-standing reluctance to consider artificial explanations, even when natural ones strain past their breaking points. Most astronomers do not believe 3 i Atlas is alien, and no responsible researcher claims certainty. But the pressure to stay within accepted paradigms is strong, and many researchers may dismiss the object's anomalies because they conflict with long-established assumptions about what interstellar visitors should look like. This tendency to explain away deviations, rather than confront them directly, risks obscuring the very phenomena that could offer breakthroughs in our understanding of interstellar objects.